there, Kim Kunkel here, owner and designer over at easydigitals.com, Photoshop backgrounds and templates for photographers. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to customize this MVP locker room background. So when we get finished, it should look something like what is on the screen right now. Okay, I'm gonna open it up, file, open, and you browse to your locker. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like when you open it. And the first thing that I'm gonna show you is just go over the layers here. So when you open it, it's gonna be on your player here, it's gonna be highlighted so that if you drag your player in right from this moment, it will go right above this and it'll be in the right spot. Otherwise, you'll just have to come back to this spot. So we have a brightness contrast layer, which you can customize all these inside by moving the sliders around. After you work on your project, then you can tweak it however you want. We have a hue saturation, which is backing off on the saturation. So again, you can play with these once you get it done. Control Z to undo that. A photo filter. And if I double click on this, you can see all of the different filters that you can use. And you can click on this. On the, you can click on this and then you can arrow down and just look at all of the different photo filters. And that'll come more into play after we're done working on the complete project. So let me go to my history and I'm gonna go back to the beginning, okay. So we have smoke, which you can turn off and on depending on how you want your composite to look. We have this glow. We have the your player here later. We have this back glow which again that once you get your player in place then you can mess with that a little bit more we have the text and the ban the text on the banner we have color change for the banner the banner and it has effects on it we have a shadow for the banner and then more changes to the coloring spotlights shadows bricks the top you can turn those off if you want it just to be dark back there. Or you can add some other brick or whatever. You can turn off the floors and then it looks like cement. So if you want a more simplistic look, you can turn off all of the bricks and you just basically have the lockers. And you can also turn off the banner. So those are the layers. Let's go ahead and start doing some customizing. Okay, so I'm gonna go in my history and go back to where I started. Okay, the first thing I wanna show you how to do is to change the text. So I'm gonna come over to my type tool and I'm just gonna come up here and change it to whatever word I want. And this text has a warp on it. So if you want, need, if you like have a word that's longer and you need to adjust the warp, you can do it here. So let's say my word was, um, like this and I needed to make everything fit you're gonna have to change it up a little bit you could add like two rows you could put like varsity underneath it or some other word then you can come to your warp and you could adjust it if needed So I wanted to show you how to do that. Then you can also change this. So if you want to like a different font, you can come up to your fonts and highlight your fonts. If you press, if you have this highlighted and you press Control H, it's going to hide the um, highlight of it. And then you can arrow through these and you can see the different fonts that are in your system. And this is how I like to choose fonts no matter what I'm working on. If I just want to see what different fonts are going to look like, then I just do this. Let's go back to freshman. That's um, or one of these. Yeah, we'll do this one. And I'm going to go ahead and make it bigger. And arrow it down. You can also change the color. Um, and try right here, change the color of the font to any color, 
and also you can change the opacity so if you want it to be like slightly see-through you can do that or you can do you know put it on normal right now it's on luminosity so that you can kind of see through it but you could change it to normal and then reduce the opacity so that you can kind of see the the ripples beneath it Okay, so now I'm going to add my athlete. So I'm going to do, go to File, Open, and I've already extracted my athlete from the background. And so I'm just going to drag it over. And as you can see, it went in rather large. I'm going to put it where, right above your player here. I'm going to right click it and convert to Smart Object. Then I'm going to go ahead and size it however I want it. So I'm going to press Shift and I'm going to resize. And I want her feet to show because I want to show you how to add a little bit of shadows to the feet. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the smoke and I'm going to turn off the wood floor. All right, so now we have our athlete in here. And one of the reasons that I waited to change the banner color until she was in there is because I wanted to use one of the, a color from her uniform to kind of figure out what color of red I want. So I'm gonna choose my red. And I'm going to change this opacity back up to luminosity. Okay, so we have our athlete in there. And let's say the outer glow is here and maybe I wanna extend that a little bit or maybe even bring it in. You can just change this however you want. And then I'm gonna add a little shadow under her feet. So I'm gonna come over here to my gradient tool. I'm gonna to come to the round and I make sure black's on top. I'm just gonna make like a gradient. Oh, wait a minute. Let me come over to the gradient here. All right, now let's try this. Okay, I see what I'm doing wrong. I did not put it on the right layer. Let me see. Back here, add a new layer right underneath my player. And there we go. So then I can come over to my transform tool and I can figure out how I want this to look. So you can just keep messing with that until you think it looks right. I'm gonna add one more layer and I'm gonna make a bigger gradient. Make sure that's right. And Sometimes this helps sell the illusion. Press enter, back off the opacity a little bit. Maybe multiply mode. Didn't really make much of a difference. So you can just keep playing with these shadows until you think it looks natural. But it definitely looks better than um, no shadow like that because she just looks like she's floating there. So we definitely want a little bit of shadow there. If your photo didn't come with a, a shadow, that you can use, then you definitely wanna add one. So now that we have her in place, this is the point where you could decide if you wanted to add more contrast, if you wanted to add a photo filter, and come, or you could come down here and add it just to the background. You can lighten. So that's the point where you get to tweak it and figure out if you wanna keep all these layers on or off or you know, just make it your own. Okay, so now you know how to change the banner color, how to change the text, how to add a little shadow, adjust the player back glow, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you liked the tutorial, please click the like button if you want to see more tutorials like this, and have a creative day.